Um, Dr. Chigondu Aspire is my name, and I work with Henry Rob Hospital uh, at Zana. I'm uh, an endometriosis surgeon and I'm a fertility specialist. So today uh, we are talking about a topic of interest being endometriosis. I'll be able to tell you what endometriosis is, how do we diagnose the disease, what are the symptoms, how does the patient present with endometriosis, what are the likely complications of this disease, and how we manage it in our theatre. We'll be able to demonstrate to you how we do laparoscopy as one of the um, key areas of management of endometriosis. So endometriosis is uh, generally um, a disease, a chronic disease that affects women of reproductive age. And um, it is a very debilitating disease because for me, I call it a disease without a lobby for the fact that it affects every organ or system of the body. And the disease is progressive over time. It affects almost 10% of women. And that basically means that every one in 10 women you see will have endometriosis. Um, what is endometriosis uh, to an ordinary person? Uh, it basically means the tissue which lines inside the uterus called endometrium, which eventually spreads and uh, goes beyond the uterus. It can uh, spread to the uterus itself. And when it gets there, we call that adenomyosis. The tissue can also spread um, through the tubes. Then it goes to the ovary and that will cause you ovarian endometriosis. It can also get to the rectum, which is behind the uterus, and we call this uh, the disease of the bowel or endometriosis of the rectum. The disease can get to the bladder, what we call blood endometriosis, but it can also spread to distant places like the, um, the lungs. Uh, it can get to the umbilical cord, it can get to the brain, to the joint. So it's, it's really a disease without a lobby. What are the symptoms? How can you tell? that a patient has endometriosis. Usually, I would put this as a disclaimer that 50% of patients with endometriosis really don't present with any symptom. Uh, some of these patients do not have pain, they do not have anything obvious, but when you investigate, uh, you get it as an incidental finding that they have endometriosis. Some of them will come to you with infertility, and that would be um, the only symptom they would present um, to you with. Otherwise, the other uh, the majority of the patients will come with pain and sometimes uh, or almost all the time they have um, menstrual pain and uh, this pain is kind of cyclic, it uh, follows menstrual period, they get relief uh, away from menstruation, the pain progressively gets worse with time and uh, eventually it becomes chronic pain, that is pain without even the periods. That is when we know that the disease has become really progressive. So what does this mean? Uh, this really means that never normalize menstrual pain. Menstrual pain is never normal um, to the teenagers. Uh, so as long as they get pain that is severe enough to um, um, stop them from carrying out activities of daily living, like going to school, or, you know, working, so you really have to take them serious. So for me, that is the key thing. Menstrual pain is never normal and it should be given the due attention. Um, the other thing that can happen is irregularity of bleeding. Sometimes the periods can be not just painful, but prolonged, they can be heavy. Um, and, and this could really point out that the disease has gone to the uterus, or what we call adenomyosis. And then some of them will complain of uh, pain during intercourse um, and, and basically this will point to the fact that the disease has gone to the vagina or the posterior uterus and that has to be taken seriously. Um, the other part of the patients will present to you with bowel symptoms. For example, during periods they will tell you that um, um, they have difficulty passing stool, discomfort passing stool, they might be having diarrhea or constipation. Uh, those are symptoms that might point out the fact that perhaps the patient has disease um, to the bowel or the rectum. Disease can go to the bladder and um, when it gets there, patients will complain of uh, uh, 
urinary symptoms, for example, um, frequency of passing urine, or sometimes even pain, uh, passing urine, and sometimes even bleeding, or what you call hematuria, or passing blood in urine. So you can see that the disease is mouth system. It gets to different parts of the body, especially of the pelvis and the reproductive system. And that's why we need to take it seriously. What are the complications of endometriosis? The complications depend on how long the patient has stayed with the disease. Most of the patients will get to you um, after having the disease for more than eight years. On average, a patient of endometriosis has lived with the disease for about eight years. They have seen about eight different doctors and during this time, they've had different interventions, several surgeries. Um, so uh, we need to have a high index of suspicion for this disease. And how do we diagnose the disease? Um, most of the time, um, we do a basic ultrasound. And that ultrasound has to be a vaginal ultrasound done by a specialist who knows um, how to look at endometriosis. So an endometrial ultrasound, which is a vaginal ultrasound, will most of the time give you the detail of the disease. Then we are able to stage the disease and that will uh, essentially help us plan the management. Without a proper uh, diagnosis, without a proper staging ultrasound, it will be very difficult for you to manage um, the disease.